What happens when we see real light, when the sun rises every day, we actually begin to make vitamin D. We, the, light, the light infuses our body, the photonic reaction in, upon our tissues causes all kinds of biological um, processes to begin. The sun is life-giving. Its light is golden. Its light is cleansing. Sunlight is antiseptic. Sunlight kickstarts all kinds of stuff in your body, including the production of vitamin D, which is a critical hormone that affects 3,000 genes and causes all these different biological processes to, to occur. Real light, full-spectrum light, has to be delivered with thermal energy. Firelight does that. The fire gives you heat. So if you get light without its heat component, your biological processes do not take place and you start deteriorating. And so what do chemtrails do? Chemtrails create the famous white haze. The whole proof of particulates causing um, a cloud layer came from Hebrew University, Daniel Rosenfeld, the atmospheric scientist. There was a headline at the time that said, pollution stops rain. This hit the newspapers in that way, pollution stops rain. And what Rosenfeld discovered was that cities, remember I talked about LA with its smog, cities that were clouded with particulate from pollution actually had less rainfall than they were meant to because the little particles of pollution would absorb the atmospheric moisture above the city and create a haze, a particulate haze that was small and stable because of the size of the particulates. So how is a raindrop made in nature? A raindrop is made because salt particles or dust particles in the atmosphere, which have an affinity for moisture, will draw moisture to them. And so they become what's called a condensation nucleus. There's condensation around a nucleus. Nucleus would be the dust or salt particle. And as more and more water is drawn to that little drop, it gets bigger and bigger. And eventually, when it's so big that it becomes unstable, it falls to the earth as rain. So they discovered that if there were small enough particulates up there, they would not fall. And this is where we get the whole spraying program, that they could spray materials that had a love for water, that were hydrophilic, these metallic salts, aluminum oxide, barium oxide, titanium oxide, and they would draw to them atmospheric moisture and they would create the famous white haze. So what does that white haze do? It's a filter. It, what does it filter? It filters the golden sun. It changes the frequency and the quality of the sun's antiseptic, life-giving, warm light to a cold, instead of golden, silver, instead of antiseptic, septic, mold-promoting filter. And what happens underneath that? We degenerate. We don't make vitamin D. We start falling apart. 